So, I bought another car. I bought yet another BMW. As most of you guys already know, I own an E30, an E46, and an E93. And you know, I just had to fill the gap. I bought an E36. I'm actually driving over to PSI right now to go see the car for the first time. <laughs> That's right, I've never seen the car. Sight unseen. This is gonna be very interesting. See you guys there. I think that's her right there. Hmm. Yep, that's definitely her. So Ali's gonna. I, I can't. Every time he, every time he's here, I just, I, 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 I can't stop laughing. Anyways, Ali's holding the camera. We're gonna go see the E36 for the first time. Can you go just, just put her on there so she can start laughing too? There you go. Stop. All right, let's go look at the E36. I'm excited. Are right, you? Ah, it's right here. I got it. Yeah, very nice uh, E36 right here. Yeah. You know, this looks nice. Damn! Look at that steady hand. Honestly, I don't know why I keep buying more cars when I can't even keep up with my current builds. Oh, look at that. M3 bumper. Maybe it is. What is this? Uh, you said the color of it is uh, Hell Rot Red? Yeah. Hell Rot? Yeah. Yeah. It's got ugly wheels. I mean, it looks really clean. Definitely looks cleaner than when it looked like in the, the garage photo. See that clear coat peeling? Where is it at? Oh, I see that. This is pretty impressive. What year is this car again? 97? 97? And Original then, paint though? Yeah. And then Thanos pinched it right here himself, you know? Well, that's not too bad. Oh, well, I guess it's kind of bad, but... Don't you have another red E36 here at the top? Yes. Oh, that can work. Can you see the angle? Yeah, you can see it. It looks like bacon. <laughs> that's just battle scars. That's okay. Yeah. What's good with this meaty setup? That's Fire that. Firestone Firehawk Indy <laughs> 500 mm. on some 15s. It looks good. You know, I was a little bit scared because last time I paid this much for a sight unseen car, ended up being the worst investment of my life. <laughs> that E30 <laughs> that I bought for, did I pay 35? I think I paid three, 35. I think it was 35. It was the worst investment of my life. So essentially, this is what I paid for this car around the same price. It but this three. looks a lot better. It was three. Because you wanted 35. And I oh, said that's right. Three. So, we got, so we got it for three. All right. Top looks clean. Wow. Even the seals look good. Yeah, except this one. Except that one. Which is fine. Let's see what the interior looks like. Oh, Mike lied. He said it was peanut butter interior. This is not peanut butter. It's like gross color. This actually smells really good in here. Oh, look at that, guys. The grown man, grown man toy right here. I'm not the biggest fan of light interior, but that can always be swapped out. Dashboard looks good, steering wheel, whatever, that's normal. It's like a 20, what, 20 something year old car. It's got a get, get, this, get this real quick, get this real quick. You see that? That's real status right here. M, dude. M, dude. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo. woo -hoo, I scored big with this M. These look like, like doormats you put in front of your, your house. Yeah. Right? Maybe. That's for your nose. Uh, the only thing is, it doesn't go down. <laughs> when I was driving, it was it would just stay in one position. It goes backwards, forward, but it doesn't go down. So, ooh, yeah. Hey, tuck it back in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, put that back in there. Race car. Wow. <laughs> Did this come with the car? Yeah. Wow. It came with a timing tool too, to time the motor. I think this will fit my E93. <laughs> I don't think you want that. <laughs> no, I don't. I can already tell that it's not very robust. Oh yeah. Very nice interfooler. What do you think? It will work for what we're trying to do. Yeah? What are we trying to do? 300 horsepower? I don't know. Make two twos. 
two twos. All right, looks clean back here though. All right, let's keep looking around. Before I get to the hood, I'm gonna see if I can find anything interesting in the passenger uh, in the passenger side glove box because there's not. Ooh, China blow off valve. Is that what it is? Yep, Wanna be? That came with it too. Yeah, you can tell. Look at the look at the the, the print on here. Yeah, tile ish. The guy, <laughs> the guy that owned this car, bro, he's a real winner. That, Does this car have any rust? No. That was just a placeholder to drive really? from Tampa. Yeah? Okay, because uh, the last thing I need is any kind of rush issue on any of my cars. E30 is enough for me. It came with turbo feed and return lines. So, and that's the tuning I wonder why the guy just kind of gave up on this project if he was ready for this. That's a tuning cable, because the car has a tune. It does? Yeah. Pretty stuff. Clean. Nothing there, nothing exciting. Let's go ahead and take a look what it looks like in the engine bay obviously this video is not going to be really well put together because it's kind of like off the top of my head first time seeing it it's not really scripted or organized so just kind of bear with me you guys are seeing the car for the first time as i am race car hold on is this the 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 m50 or m52 it's an m52 wow bro but it's got an m50 manifold intake an aluminum uh, aluminum foil right here yeah, whatever it is. That they wanted nothing. to try to, I guess, make the engine look pretty for, for cheap. Cold air intake. Is that, oh, oh, look at that. Electric fan. Yeah, wires exposed, you know, that's like the new stuff now. Yeah, and I think it has a coolant leak, but it's like very seeping leak-ish. We got oil. Yeah, we don't got a white towel to see what color it is. It's probably the chocolate milk. Looks clean, man. Really can't complain about the condition of the car. I wonder if you just replaced the headlight lens too. They look pretty oh, new. Those are depot headlights. Really? Because they're glass. Oh yeah, that's right. Glass lights typically last a lot longer. They don't yellow up, right? They don't do that. You get the clear lens, that's what happens, right? They, they haze up. That carbon fiebre. We would have talked to Guardian Wraps about this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You just took away like fifty dollars worth of value off the car, man. There you go. I fixed it. Now it's a real BMW. Okay. It's still uh, got a textured white, though. I think it's meant to be, bro. Leave it. No. Mm. Now it's fixed. Wow. Uh. <laughs> we got uh, tents. What do you got? Fifteen percent. Looks like ten percent, maybe. Fifteen percent. Well, that's like that's like fifteen or twenty. Yeah back here and then we got a little strip up front too. the tent in the back is because i couldn't see anything when i was driving it back it's not an m3 definitely a 328 guys it's got depot tail lights and it's got that uh, it's always a hit or miss with depot lights. muffler man special exhaust i see that because there's like a bunch of bends and they're all like crush bends <laughs> it's, got, it's got new pads up front really you can't see them, but yeah, they're new. Tires are new. Aftermarket suspension. Bilstein. Bilstein. All right, let's go ahead and start her up. See what she sounds like. Well, we got the keys. Two different looking keys. Who cares? As Just long as it starts the car. Oh, look, we forgot to show the black kidney. Oh, were they plasti dipped? Yeah, so was the wheels. I didn't realize they were plasti dipped. At least he didn't plastic dip the <laughs> bumper or the whole car, you know, like somebody. Yeah, definitely not us. All right, got the keys. Let's go ahead and start her up, see what she sounds like. I like. He has a point. All my cars have been around three thousand dollars. I paid three thousand dollars for the E46 M3, three thousand dollars for the E30, three thousand dollars for the E36. Definitely not the E93. I paid twenty-five grand for that six years ago. 
but he said he can find me one for three thousand dollars so all right so the electric stuff they all work how's the radio ac oh ac i forgot oh, to yes. ask you about that how's the ac on it the ac works good yeah oh yeah it's already cooler than my 893 radio AC works look at the aftermarket radio special radio right there. works what about windows can we do the windows watch this oh look at that other side too Ooh. what about rear windows any is it power rear windows too i don't know i gotta <laughs> I, I never opened them up. oh look at that it's only right that I sit back here. Oh yeah, it's very clean back here too. Did you receive the car clean like this? Yeah. It's really clean inside. Oh, the best part, hold on. Yeah? Oh, look at that. <laughs> it actually works. Oh yeah. That actually works. Everything works on this car. Tell everybody how many miles this car has. I can't tell. It's like Matrix going on in there. <laughs> How many miles? 250 something. 253, guys. This is when BMWs were built, like, you know, bulletproof, and they can actually last over 200,000 miles. M50, M52 are uh, known for being really, really good engines. I don't know if I've ever seen an N54 with this many miles. Probably not, but... Guys, just look at it. It's pretty good. No rips in the interior. Just a bunch of dirtiness that can be brushed off. Um, here are the plastic, the moldings, everything look, looks pretty good, just a little bit dirty back here, you got the net. Uh, definitely the net's been through some ages, it's not even, uh, it's not elastic anymore. Definitely going for an, uh, for a different, uh, interior color. Yeah, this, this gotta go. Yeah, this color definitely needs to go, Ali agrees. Let's see back here. Look at that, boys. Woo! VIP cup holders. How the hell is this car in this good of a shape for such an old car too? Like, it's crazy. Look at the paint. I know on camera it always looks a lot better, but I'm in person and I can tell you it's like flawless. You literally do, I uh, give it like a, a clay bar, or like a one stage correction, and that's it. Looks brand new. Oh, the Even seals the seals. Now. Yeah, so. Oh. Whoever owned the car definitely took really good care of it. So far, I think this car is a win. Oh God, you got the carbon fiber works uh, rondelle back here as well, but this one is built in. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the. Can we go for a drive? Here, take the camera. Let me go for that. I'm only really, I only really bought this car to say that I have an E36, right? It's the only one that I was missing. That throttle is a lot harder than what I expected it to be. <laughs> is that throttle supposed to be that hard? Holy crap! Yes. Look at this. Oh, because it's not, it's not drive-by wire. Is that what it is? Drive-by cable. Oh, look at that. It's gonna take some to get it used to for sure. Oh yeah! <laughs> Yo, I honestly purchased this car and I don't know what the hell am I gonna do with it. I feel like part of me is not even gonna keep it because I, I I don't know what to do with it. I got the E30 and the E46 to worry about. <laughs> Give it the beans. Give it the beans. to it oh my you know what i think it's because it's an older car you can just feel more it's tuned oh that's right you did tell me it was tuned it has no cats tuned wow. pretty much a full bolt on car dude this this it rides really really nice too wow look how quiet it is on idle The Merbles? Yeah. MHC yeah. baby? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Those are natural. I don't know what I should do with this car, but I'll give it some thought. They look real M3. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have the fake one right here. Yeah, mine is the fake one. Do I smell a little bit of worn out engine? Uh oh, is that exhaust fumes? That, is, it, exhaust. is this exhaust? Yeah. Is there no cats? No. Oh. We didn't say that. 
Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. It has all the cats. Yeah. Well, there's a resonator in the middle. What you think, man? Goodbye? I mean, considering I want to go pick it up, I'm going to say yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, I guess that's a very safe sight unseen because you kind of looked at it. Well, you didn't see it. That's why. Yeah, I guess. So it's not really clickbait. I said, surprise, mother. <laughs> we'll see what we'll do with it. If you guys have any suggestions on what should be done to the car, uh, just leave a comment. Let me know. I really don't know what to do with it. I'm just going to let it sit here at PSI for a while. And, uh, and then when I think of something or you guys give me a really good idea, then we'll go from there. Then we got a problem. What's this, bro? It's the rod bearings. <laughs> <laughs>